Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird's Brew, and welcome to our video about the God Braggy and the arts. Now, last week, if you saw my video about Braggy, the introduction of him, it was mentioned that he is considered to be a patron of all of the arts. I also mentioned that information about him is pretty scanty, so this is going to be more about uh, what does this information mean for us, how can we use it, uh, what can we learn from him, rather than getting into the details of his myth mythology, because... Uh, there aren't many to be had. However, his patronage of the arts is really rooted in music and poetry especially, because if you remember from the stories uh, that he's said to have runes actually carved onto his tongue, and that's part of what made his poetry and his music so very powerful. And really, every medium of art uh, has potential to entertain, to share memory, to speak truth, whether we're using music or poetry or some other medium to convey an idea. And of course, as we are, most of us are aware, the Norse gods and Norse culture generally has consistently emphasized the value of music and poetry. It was considered uh, part of being a complete person, an admirable person, to, you know, kind of have a good handle on how to create this sort of thing. And if we notice, most societies, both ancient and modern, have felt the need for artistic creation to allow for some kind of expression. I mean, pick your pantheon and you'll find at least one deity who is primarily concerned with the aesthetics or the artistry of some form. Because once human beings have their basic needs met, you know, food, shelter, clothing, we are then focusing our energies on making our lives more satisfying, more beautiful, creating entertainment, enjoying, you know, just the fact that we're here, we're alive, and uh, that we, you know, we, we are more than just the matter of which we are composed. And even today, you'll find that a lot of people devote their, you know, working lives towards uh, making that which is functional also beautiful and well-ordered and just pleasant to be in. You know, why we have such emphasis on interior home designs and, you know, what kind of music people like. All this sort of thing, it's all tied in with this need of, you know, I am physically okay and now I want to enrich my life and this artistry and creation, however it's manifesting, is about enriching that life. Now, we don't have to be prodigies, we don't have to be gifted, we don't have to be anything more than just kind of the average person in order to do this. It is actually enough to be an amateur in whatever we're doing and to create something just for the enjoyment of the creation itself. Now, there are people who are incredibly gifted. And it shows in the quality of their creations. And then uh, there's the rest of us mere mortals, and I include myself very much in that number. But despite the fact that, you know, we might be, not be able to reach the lofty heights of some people, uh, we shouldn't be intimidated. We shouldn't be put off or feel that anything we make or craft or create, that if it doesn't meet professional standards, then it is just without value. That simply isn't the case. Because artistic endeavors are an outlet for the soul. You know, and we don't have to show anyone what we did you know if we're if we're sketching you know that can stay between us and our own eyes it's just we all we really need is just to enjoy what we are doing and to take in pleasure in that act of creation whether it's shared or not so that's something that uh, we can learn about uh, Bragi. Uh, I think next week we're going to discuss a little bit about his connection with hospitality so I hope you'll come back then uh, but for now I'll see you in the next video bye